Southeastern Morocco, a region where the landscape is as diverse as it is spectacular. Here, nature puts on a show. Around every corner, a new awe-inspiring scene unfolds. In just a few hours, you can travel from towering mountain passes to ancient limestone gorges, through lush green oases, and finally, to the vast golden sand dunes of the Sahara. In our previous adventures, we've explored Morocco's rich history, its magnificent mosques, bustling medieval medinas, and ancient Roman ruins. But today, it's Mother Nature's turn to shine. We're Chris and Lydia. Come raving with us today as we experience the magic of Morocco's wild, natural beauty. Good morning. We started our day early, excited to begin our journey to the Sahara Desert. The trip itself was to be one of the highlights of our Moroccan adventure, crossing the high Atlas Mountains, winding through breathtaking mountain passes, then following the Ziz River as it carves its way down through steep gorges and a lush valley of date palms, finally arriving at the town of Mazuga, right on the doorstep of the Sahara. It's another beautiful day here. used to be uh, used by caravan traders that they come from France all the way to Sahara Desert and all the way to Timbuktu in Mali so the mountain pass is called Tizi Talgont Tizi Talgont Patches of green signal that water is near. The mighty Ziz River begins in the High Atlas Mountains, not far from here. Though the water flow is reduced at the moment due to drought, the river stretches over 200 kilometres down into the Sahara Desert and onwards to Algeria. The Tizi and Talahomd mountain pass may not be the most travelled route over the High Atlas Mountains to the Sahara, but as Robert Frost said, I took the road less travelled and that has made all the difference. On this southern side of the High Atlas Mountains, the Ziz River has carved deep gorges into the mountain plateau. 
The drive through these canyons is breathtaking, with just a touch of fear mixed in. As we descend through the Ziz Gorges, we're surrounded by ancient walls of stratified limestone, dating back to the Jurassic period. It feels as though we've stepped onto the set of a Hollywood Western, perhaps somewhere in Arizona or Colorado. Scattered throughout the gorges are countless orange mud brick kasbahs and kazars, fortified palaces and villages, many of them crumbling and abandoned. It feels like we're driving through the set of an Indiana Jones movie. man-made dam but there's been some amazing scenery coming over the high atlas mountains yeah, um, amazing scenery uh -huh. boom boom <laughs> the hassan adekil dam not only generates electricity and supports irrigation for the surrounding area but it also regulates downstream water flow providing essential flood protection The Ziz River flows into the Ziz Valley, nourishing a lush oasis of date palms, orchards and crops. This vibrant greenery stands in stark contrast to the barren, golden rocky cliffs rising on either side. The Ziz River is the lifeblood of the towns and cities south of the High Atlas Mountains, providing essential water both for drinking and agriculture, sustaining life and livelihoods. After taking in all this spectacular scenery, I've definitely worked up an appetite. So we decided to stop for lunch at a restaurant in the heart of the Ziz Valley. Come for lunch. Restaurant. That's the way. Apparently it's a smorgasbord lunch. Oh yes, here we go. a few tagines, a goat tagine, lentils, rice, couscous. After a quick bite to eat, it was time to hit the road again. It feels like, feels like I'm in Arizona before, <laughs> doesn't it? Not that I've really been to the Arizona. You haven't been to Arizona? Not to the desert. Okay. I'm in Vegas. Right. <laughs> 
They climb all the way up, then they use a sharp knife to cut the branches of the dates and then use a rope to bring them all the way down. Always like a man who climbs up the trees and that's why women live longer in Morocco. So. After lunch, the valley widened, but the oasis continued to stretch on. This is the Talfalet Oasis, the largest oasis in Morocco, if not the world. Kasbahs and Kazars lined our path as the terrain flattened out, bringing us closer to the Sahara Desert. This small town, it's called Risani. R I S A N I. Risani. So it's the cradle, cradle of the current dynasty rule in Morocco. So it's a historical town. So we go into drive through it and onward to. Sahara Desert. Rizani is the site of an ancient capital and one of the oldest towns in Morocco. Known as the gateway to the Erg Chebi sand dunes, in centuries past Rizani was an important trading post on the caravan route between the Sahara Desert and the north. And as we finish this oasis, then if the weather is clear in a distance we will be able to see the golden sand dunes. Welcome to Sahara Desert. Thank you so much. So, it's already hot. Can you imagine like in full summer when it's 48 Celsius? our lovely accommodation on the edge of the Sahara Desert. The room is down the end on the left. Can I turn the light on? Yeah, turn the light on. I like the colour scheme, it's very deserty. Yeah, I turn the light on. Now we have light. The room looks beautiful and it smells amazing. What's this? A little stained cupboard wardrobe. Yeah, let's just put all your stuff in. I'm going to look out the window and see what we see from our Sahara Desert room and we see a brick wall. Well, I guess that is going to keep us a bit cooler maybe. <laughs> Oh, this is beautiful. Toilet. Shower. Oh, 
Cheers. This looks like a cool chill out area. A glass of wine. Yeah, oh, there's, a, there's a roof. I haven't been up there yet, but I've seen the steps to it. So when it cools down a little bit, might be a nice spot for a, an evening drink. Thank you for roving with us today in southeastern Morocco. We really hope that you've enjoyed the journey to the Sahara with us. Join us next week as we head out into the dunes by foot, four-wheel drive and by camel. And please subscribe as it shows us that you're enjoying the videos we're making. And it really does mean a lot to us. Until next time, it's bye for now.